My name is Gene Paolino, uh, Eugene Paolino, the people call me Gene. Um, I'm a partner at uh, Genova Burns. Uh, I have been involved in commercial real estate development, uh, or as an attorney for commercial real estate developers, for probably uh, 40 plus years. I didn't start out that way. I started out as a assistant corporation counsel for the city of Jersey City, uh, but I was assigned to a fellow who uh, did a good deal of development in Jersey City in a in a in a most uh, uh, interesting way, he utilized redevelopment tools and that were just new at the time. It was called Urban Renewal. Uh, and I represented the, the Housing Authority, the Redevelopment Agency, and the city in all of those redevelopment negotiations with a multiple number of developers who were developing along the undeveloped Jersey City waterfront. Um, since then, I moved from the public side to the private side many years ago and have represented developers who were doing relatively large projects. Um, some of them are, uh, I think, uh, really interesting and iconic in many ways. Uh, let me tell you about them. Um, the first probably is the Argent Project. Um, Argent Ventures is developing property that is presently contaminated. It's about 14 acres. It's adjacent to Liberty State Park, and it, uh, it is a wonderful location for development since it looks out on the Hudson Bay and the Statue of Liberty, and it is targeted to be a life sciences project uh, that would include residential development that would be supportive of life, life science re research, um, biological research, pharmaceutical research, uh, anything in the, bio, uh, in the medical and bio life sciences uh, area. Um, the number of square feet that are, is intended to be developed is about three million, uh, half of which would be for residential development and the other half for the biological and life science uh, office, office needs and, and lab needs. Um, it's a Crucial project, I think. I don't think there's any other project on the East Coast that would, would be like this project. And it draws from um, a whole host of locations, including all of the major universities and hospitals in New York City and in New Jersey. Uh, I have other projects. I have uh, uh, the Jersey City answer to the uh, High Line in New York. Uh, it's called in Jersey City the Sixth Street Embankment. Um, it is uh, a project that will bring increasing or additional parkland to Jersey City, to the downtown area of Jersey City, but actually for the entire city. Uh, it spans uh, eight blocks going east to west from Marin Boulevard to beyond Newark Avenue. It is a location where the Freight trains came in to Jersey City and deposited their goods to be shipped across the Hudson River to the rest of the country, to New York. Um, the uh, High Line, the, the Jersey City embankment is a, a project that uh, links with the uh, Bergen Arches development and with uh, uh, the Essex Greenway and uh, I think is iconic in different ways. It brings, uh, it brings an area of uh, support and, and, and uh, relaxation to people in Jersey City. It's a, it's a park. Uh, another project that I have uh, is the uh, One Journal Square project, uh, which we think is transformative for Journal Square. Um, it is a two-tower project on a base. The towers are 64 stories high. They've been approved with a 12-story base, which includes a significant amount of residential units, but also a significant amount of retail, parking, amenities. It is going to be immediately adjacent to the, uh, to the new Pompidou Center that the city is involved in. Uh, it'll make Jersey City, together with the Pompidou Center and other developments in and around One General Square, uh, it will make Jersey City a focus of both art, culture, and commercial business. Um, 
I think uh, it is a wonderful project. Um, that's what's going on in Jersey City, and I've been here for, uh, as I said, 40 plus years, and I've seen Jersey City transform from a, uh, an industrial town with, uh, an, with enormous challenges um, to a city that is vibrant, growing, the best mid-sized city in Jersey City, in, 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 in the United States. And I think that um, uh, this city will continue to grow, will continue to be vibrant and dynamic.